again, everybody. Along with Paul Horning, I'm Skip Carey, and we welcome you to Memorial Stadium in Champaign, Illinois, where the Illini will host the Cornhuskers of Nebraska. Now, deferred to the second half, so Illinois will receive Darrell Usher, Ray Wilson of the Deep Men, Dale Klein will kick it off for the Cornhuskers. Illinois 1-1 one and one for the year, Nebraska 1-0. And, oh. and we're about to get it on from Memorial Stadium in Champaign. It's high and very, very short. <laughs> it's fielded by Ray Wilson, who gets to the 28-yard line. And is... Your linesman, Ron Demery from the Big 8. Line judge, Ron Winter, Big 10. Field judge, Terry Turlington of the Big 8. Side judge, Glenn Fortin of the Big 10. Back judge, Mike Nevin of the Big 10. You look at Illinois' offensive line. Shane Lamb is the quarterback. He's going to go to the air early. He's got a man, and it's intercepted. At the 35 to the 30, it's going to be a touchdown. On the first play of the game, Brian Davis out of Phoenix made the interception and took it in. Daryl Usher had an easy pass to catch the flanker. They went four receivers right away, Skip. Unbelievable. Huh? What an opening. Boy, and that'll take the crowd out of the game a little bit, too. A jam-packed stadium, but they're silent now, as on the very first play from scrimmage, Nebraska on defense scores a touchdown. Champaign, Illinois. Klein hits it a little better this time. It's Darrell Usher crossing the 20, and boy, is he upended as he hits the 25. Shane Lamb is the quarterback. 3-4 defense for Nebraska. The pitch is to the eye back. Ray Wilson, no, nothing. Maybe lost the yard. And there's a look at that Nebraska defensive line. Noonan is the best of a very, very good group. There's your linebackers on the inside, and they're good ones. Your defensive secondary, Brian Siebler, so supposedly one of the best. Flanks wide left. It's second down and about nine and a half. Double tight ends. If they've got two, we went all sides. Play is halted. Illegal procedure, as you see. So this good pace, too. He's in shape. And they flood the left side with receivers. And Lamb is going to try to throw. Now he's going to try to run, and he is Derek at the 22-yard line. And a fumble, and the ball is recovered by Nebraska. Nobody was open, or it could have been a quarterback draw. Lee Jones is the guy who forced the fumble, and Nebraska's offense handles the ball for the first time. Keith okay. Jones with it, and he almost broke it. Down to the 15. Take a look at the offensive backfield and receiver. Steve Taylor, fine sophomore quarterback there. Featured. Ed White out of Decatur, Georgia, the free safety, made the stop for Illinois. And that, folks, was a big offensive lineman. We'll get to that in a little bit. Second and one at the 13-yard line. They're in the eye. And the give again is to Keith Jones, and he's got the first down and plenty of change. They also have a Keith Jones in, uh, as we look at the defensive line for Illinois, they've got a offensive back for Illinois, a fullback named Keith Jones. So we got two Keith Jones in the game tonight. First and goal, Steve Taylor is the quarterback, and there he's changing it, Skip. He's changing the play at the line. Again, he gives it to Jones. He breaks one tackle, and he's pulled down at the six-yard line. Again, Ed White. Jason Gamble is split wide left. A wing back and an eye formation. There's this an option. Taylor with the option, and he is going to get the touchdown. He's unreal, I'll tell you. He's that's the play. And he's untouched. That is the play that you must stop. You're going to beat Nebraska. Steve Taylor, you saw him move down. Klein kicks out of Blakeman's hold, and it is good again. 12.43 left. This is Super Football Saturday night on Turner Network Television. Dale Klein out of Seward, Nebraska. Hits this one pretty well. Darrell Usher handles it at the 7. He's at the 20, has a little seam, and splits it to the 33-yard line. Keith Jones out of Rock Hill, Missouri, is the running back. He's joined now by Ray w Wilson, Shane Lamb, the quarterback. And he gives to the second man. It's Wilson trying to get outside. No chance. Look at that pursuit. Braderick Thomas. Two tight ends in there, Jerry Reese and Anthony Williams. Second down play, Lamb again gives to Ray Wilson, and he's got nowhere to go. Stephen Pierce flanks right, split left, James Gordon on third down play. Shane Lamb tries the draw, and nothing. 
Keith Jones out of Rock Hill, Missouri. Boy, does Nebraska look awesome. Good kick. Brinson is fading back to the 25. Has it there. Gets to the 30, to the 33-yard line. Before as play resumes here. The give is to the up man. The fullback, Kalen, crosses the 40-yard line. Taylor rolls left, but he gives it to Keith Jones, who breaks a tackle, crosses the 50, and is down to the 46. First and 10. There's Jones again. He vaults one man, but gets only to the 45. 5'10", 190 pounds. Dana Brinson is split wide to the right. Steve Taylor is the quarterback, and he rolls left and looks to throw, and throws incomplete. It's a possession play. Taylor rolls. Taylor looks. Taylor throws. I think it's complete to Rob Snitzler. But all year long. Two games. There's the boot by Croker. They'll cover this one. They should cover it. They oh, they did very poor coverage. Number 40 had a beautiful shot. Oklahoma and Nebraska, and that's going to be a, some kind of game. Even now, you can even start talking about it. The fullback gets the ball and drives to the 34-yard line. Keith Jones. Team that could match up with Nebraska over the years, too. There's a very meaningful step. Lamb to throw. A little look in is incomplete. Darrell Usher and Stephen Pierce split to the left. The tight end, Anthony Williams, now lines up on that side. They flood left. Lamb is in some trouble, and he is going to be thrown, and the ball is free. There's a penalty flag. flags are down. Look like perhaps a face guard. Yep. So the penalty is against Nebraska. Wilson and Jones, the running backs. Number six. He likes to go to him. Of course, they're going to try to get it running the football here. This is Wilson. He gets the first down and a little more to the 33. Daryl Usher splits right. The give to the running back. It's the fullback, and it's Keith Jones, and he pounds out across the 40-yard line. The backs are split behind Shane Lamb, and the give is to Ray Wilson, and he is stopped shy of the 40-yard line. Usher to the left, Stephen Williams to the right. Lamb's going to throw for it. He had a man, but he missed it. Boy, he was wide open, too. This will be number two. No, no, he can't get much going. Another good kick. Brinson is going to let this one hit. And it will bounce around at the 22-23 yard line. Nebraska's outrushed Illinois 43 yards to 10. Rod Smith is wide to the left. The give is to Keith Jones. He's at the 30. He's at the 40. Kiss it goodbye. Can anybody catch him? Absolutely not. It's 20 to nothing. A 78-yard touchdown run. Boy. Tom Welter, John McCormick through the blocks to spring him, and it's a route. Unbelievable. Hard. Fine's kick from Blakeman's hold is good again. And Nebraska couldn't look any better than they do. We'll That's be right back. Credit the big block to Kevin Leitner for Nebraska. It's a slaughter so far, folks. Daryl Usher will field it at the nine-yard line. They need to break one themselves, and they just about do. Ball Bumble. is loose. Nebraska's got it again at the 35-yard line. Third turnover pass off of Daryl Usher in the first quarter. Steve Taylor from the 35 leads him out. He's going to throw for it. He's chased out of the pocket, throws on the run. He's batted away incomplete. In the world? I think so. All oh, right. Look at this. Uh -oh, a little razzle dazzle. Look at this in reverse. They got some people. Princeton is at the 25. The 20 makes a great cut. He's down at the 16 yard line. From the 16, the Corn Huskers continue to roll. The give is to the fullback, and he pulls his way down inside the 10 yard line. A 220 pounder out of Lincoln, Nebraska, where the university is located. Driving inside the five is John Kelly. He, too, out of Lincoln, a 6'1", 200. Sitting ducks for running backs. They love this kind of game. Cleet Blakeman is in the game at quarterback. The give is to the fullback up the middle for a touchdown, Micah Hyber. This is men against boys. It really is. You feel badly for Illinois, but you sit here just 
awed by the performance of Nebraska. Cleve Blakeman will hold it. And it is 28 to nothing, and we have 248 remaining. The last 10 years. Ray Wilson, Darrell Usher are the deep man. It will be Darrell Usher at the nine again. He fumbled the last one. He gets to the 25, to the 30, and out to the 32, 33 yard line. 24 10 at halftime, went on to win it 52 25. Shane Lamb gives to his fullback Keith Jones. He pulls his way to the 35. Williams is wide right. Lamb barks signals. Lamb in the pocket. He's got time and he airs it out and he throws it incomplete. Stan Fitt flanks to the right. Usher to the left along with Stephen Pierce in the slap left. Lamb to throw and he's rushed avoids one man. He's run out of the pocket. He throws on the run and it is complete. He found Stan Fitt at the 44 yard line. Stephen Williams wide right, Usher to the left, Lamb to throw again Flex, and again. Flex. He's chased out of the pocket, running for his life, and he's thrown for a long uh -oh, loss. Uh -oh. There's a late hit over there. Didn't get a flag though. Second 19 on the 47. James Gordon flanks to the left. We have a minute remaining in the corner. The give is to the fullback. Flags are flying. Keith Jones. Offside. Defense. Stephen Pierce Second is in there as well. SC last week in Nebraska this week. Fitt and Gordon are the wideouts. Pierce in the slot. Shane Lamb is the quarterback. He fades to throw. Just a three-man rush, but a good one. They force him out of the pocket again. He has to run, and he's scrambled at the 44-yard line. First quarter is history. This is Super Football Saturday night right here on Turner Network Television. And a real commitment to quality. It's today's Buick. The pass is complete to Stephen Pierce, and he fights his way all the way to the 30-yard line. Shane Lamb, the quarterback. Wilson has the ball, hurdles one man, and then really gets nailed at about the 27. But Shane Lamb under center. This is a second down play. The throw is complete, but for almost nothing, Darrell Usher. Usher and Pierce are wide to the right. Williams to the left. Lamb to throw. He's got a man. A penalty flag is thrown. It's Usher at about the 23. He's it's holding against Nebraska. Stephen Pierce got man and man right down the middle now. Lamb's quick pop. He threw it low. Gordon splits to the left. High formation behind Shane Lamb. The pitch back is to Wilson. He circles wide at the 15. Is hit and dropped at the 12. It's third down. Eight yards to go. The ball is at the 12 yard line. Shane Lamb will throw here. The quick look in to the eight yard line. Look, even when they complete a pass, they get hit. Look at all those white jerseys. Rather, Illinois is not going to mess around for any field goal. No, Good for them. Win or lose. Fourth down, possession play. Lamb to throw. He gets it away. Touchdown. Touchdown. Darrell Usher will check it. Jerry Reese with the reception. And Illinois gets on the board. Give them some credit. It would have been easy to take the three points. But they're going to try to come back and win this game. Absolutely. Three points is not going to help them. That might do something. Chad Little will hold it for Chris Salmon Bocas. And the kick is up. And the kick is good. And... On the board are the Illini. It's 28-7. Nebraska will be right back. And here's the boot. Shepard fields it at the 20, 25, 30. One man to beat. 40, 45, 50. And down at the 47-yard line. And Nebraska comes right back for Illinois. Steve Taylor back in the game at quarterback and the give is to Keith Jones and he powers his way inside the 45. Jones seven for Correct. carries for 112 yards. Shepard the man in motion. Taylor keeps gives now and breaking free inside the 30 down to the 26. Ken Kalen he fumbled the ball but I think it was blown dead. It was down. First and 10 in Illini territory. Steve Taylor out of San Diego the quarterback. What a good looking young athlete he is. He gives on the reverse to Brinson. 
And he fights his way inside the 20 to the 19. For and Penn State has scored first on BC. Shepard and Smith to the left. Taylor rolls right. He's going to keep, but he gets very little this time. Good job. Third and two for the Husker. Quick pitch. Running with the ball is Keith Jones, and I don't know if he got to the first down or not. And now they're out of the eye of the deep back. Now they shift the strong formation left. Fourth and a long one. Taylor keeps. He's got the first down. Pitches back. Keith Jones. He's inside the five. Fumbles it out of bounds. Bobby but it's first and goal. Well, everybody's offensive off offside. Looked here. like Nebraska may have jumped first. That's what I like when you watch. Uh, they wouldn't make the, the amount of mistakes, but a team effort could hold up for a while. Look at this. Kid. Taylor cuts back and powers his way very close to the goal line. Jay Lynch finally stopped him. Jason Gamble is wide left for the Huskers. If they spread it around and give it to Jones. He's going to throw for it. Little timing pattern and it's overthrown in the end zone. Just good to tell you those 10 club. Yeah, 71 team is 13 to nothing. Game against Oklahoma is the best football game I've ever seen. Look at this. Keith Jones tiptoes into the end zone for the touchdown. Made it look easy. That's when you're really cocky and confident, Skip. You're throwing the football second one, just fooling around. You know you got it down. You're going and it's now 35-7 as the kick is good. And we'll be right back in Champaign, Illinois. We got prettier girls at the football games than you all got at the baseball games. Usher downs it in 119 against Haskell back in 1910. I bet you they don't score that many. Well, I want to tell you something. It's pretty tough to call off the hounds when you got this many good people. That's the trouble. The pass is complete. Stephen Pierce with it, a late hit. From when you're a young football player, Skip, playing for a team like Nebraska or Oklahoma. Jerry Reese moves into the slot left. Shane Lamb back to throw. He's chased out of the pocket. He's in trouble. Gets it away. And it'll be interference, but I think he made the catch anyway. Williams and Pierce to the left. Usher to the right. It's going to be a reverse. Usher winds up with the football, and he's hit and dropped at the 44-yard line, a gain of only one. Lamb is 7 out of 12 with an interception. A touchdown pass and 71 yards. A quick pop out here. Stephen Pierce with it inside the 40. Pulls his way to the 36-yard line before John Custard, McClellan, and Jones he told are the running back. Told you this last week, Skip. Mike White has recruited 16 kids from California in this team. Lynn McClellan bowls ahead and picks up the first down. Stan Fitt flanks right. Shane Lamb in the pocket is rushed. He throws and lo low and incomplete. Uh, it's second and ten at the 33 for the Illini with 4.53 remaining. This kid ran hard last week, Mr. Turner. Lamb to throw. He's going for all of it. He's got a man incomplete. It was intended for James Gordon. The Third down, ten yards to go. Lamb rolls. Lamb is in trouble. Lamb is spilled at the line of scrimmage. Claims still the greatest running back of all time. Fourth down, 10 yards to go. Lamb goes for all of it. He's got a man down the middle over through it. It Pierce. was intended for Stephen Pierce. He was alone, but the Tom Osborne is, well, he's got, as Paul said, he's got a lot of quality people, and so he uses them, and this is John Kelly, and they really nail him for Nebraska. That doesn't mean that they lose much in the way of quantity. Blakeman rolls wants to throw, does, has a man at the 49-yard line. It's late at halftime. He pulls his way down to the 41 yard line. Bobby Dawson made this. Jason Gamble had been the recipient, the recipient, the receipt pass up on the two-yard line. Hard line, hard line, hard line, hard line. Two at the four. 221 remaining in the first half. Stars of the pass first, pass first, for 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 son for for Brian Youngins will kick it off. The third quarter is underway and a very, very short kick that sails out of bounds. Now they'll kick from the 30. Crowd, look at it, 75,000 people here. Good kick. Yeah, he nailed that one. It's 
Terry Rogers getting to the 30 yard line he gets outside he's at the 40 and he's knocked down at the 43 by Ed White he's pretty well split the game with Blake the first unit back in for Nebraska they run out of the eye they lead 38 7 at their own, their own 43 yard line it's Keith Jones again at the 45 at the 47 he's knocked down Lance Harkey who was one of the leading candidates for the Heisman Trophy is out for the year so this really uh, even a bad break for DeBose a good break for Jones to get this much action Taylor keeps it and gets just two midfield to pick up a three Rod Smith and Von Shepard flanked left it's third down four yards to go from the 49 Taylor rolls left wants to throw for it can't find a man but he can scramble he's way back there now he gets one good block but he's back at his own 30 yard line now at the 40 and he's knocked down at the 42 by left end Scott Davis from Plain, Plainfield Illinois John Croker kicks it Daryl Usher is the deep man and he's going to field it at the 17 and he's nailed right there first first thing I saw was North Carolina with the blue prints in the face. Ray Wilson gets the carry and they got a shot there too. Ohio State's not in Nebraska and especially this year and uh, Illini will be better. Shane Lamb to throw into coverage and incomplete and very nearly intercepted it. Uh, and he can hope that Nebraska will score maybe uh, one touchdown and a field goal or something. He'd be pretty happy with it. All sides are the something. The flag is thrown late. Lamb is sacked way back at the six yard line. Offside defense. Third down. He's strong. Almost, Almost jumped again, but Almost got back. Again. Lamb has time, puts it high in the air. Good coverage downfield, incomplete. Brian Davis broke it up. Just two of the best teams, maybe, huh? Little gets UCLA. the kick away. Boy, it's not a bad one at all. Takes a good bounce and is going to go out of bounds at around the 30 yard line. Next week, there it is. Washington, USC. Keith Jones and Ken Kalen, the running backs. The ball goes to Jones and he picks his way for a couple of yards. High formation. The give again is to Jones. He's got a hole this time and he bangs his way to the 37. A pickup of five and 10 20 left in the third quarter. Nebraska winning big. It's 38 7. Brinson in motion. The pitch is to Jones and he gets there. Crosses the 40 to the 41 and the first down will be Keith Jones. Tom Osborne says is the fastest running back he's ever had at Nebraska. Quarterback keep by Taylor and he cuts it to the 45 to the 50 and he's out of bounds at the 49 yard line. Bobby Dawson ran him out and we may have a late hit. First down picked up 10 face mask face mask and it's going to be added on and at the 44 yard line. Miami of Ohio the hotbed for coaches a big coaches can go school. Ken Kalen the fullback pounds his way inside the 35. Keith Jones has an outside chance of that he has 142 right now. And there goes Taylor again inside the 30 the late pitch he's got Jones and Jones is out of bounds at the 19 yard line and they can do whatever they want. Uh, Taylor got nine yards and Jones got eight. A lot of togetherness there. Taylor throws almost intercepted at the five Lance Harkey leaped high had his hands on it. Rod Smith is the split end left. I formation second down 10 yards to go the little inside reverse goes to Von Shepard and he doesn't get that much he fights down to about the 13 Dana Brinson to the left Jason Gamble is to the right Taylor good flip Keith Jones inside the 10 powers inside the five to the four yard line wishbone look here Taylor keeps it now he pitches it can he turn the corner Von Shepard did not get in. He's out inside the one. Two tight ends in there for the Huskers. The quarterback Taylor keeps it. I think he got in, but no signal from the officials. So I guess he didn't. Yes, he did. Touchdown. Absolutely. I was going to say they didn't give him a touchdown there. He looked like he got two, three yards to me. Very easily and do it before they have done it a long time and it's really paid off for him. Klein's kick is good and the score mounts to Nebraska 45 Illinois 7 you're watching Super Football Saturday night on Turner Network Television the deep men for Illinois we're going to start to see some new faces in this game 
Williams at the 5, at the 15, at the 20. He slips and falls. He had a little alley that he was trying to cut through, but Reese goes in motion, now sets up in the wingback position. And Lamb rolls left. He's got time to throw this time. He gets it away. It's deflected and incomplete. They've got spread all over the field now. The give, though, is to the fullback, and he breaks one tackle. It's Keith Jones. He still makes a few tackles. Possession play, third and seven. Lamb to throw. He gets it away, and he's got a man, and it's broken up incomplete. Good defensive play by Brian Siebler. Shepard, the deep man. Chad Little will kick it, and he boots it from the 18-yard line. He got another pretty good one away. Fair catch called for. Fumbled, but recovered by he got Von Shepard at the 36-yard line. He's in there with Ken Kalen. Cleet Blackman is Blakeman as a quarterback. He throws and it's picked off by the Illini and they have the ball at the 42-yard line. Mark Mathis. Mark Mathis got the football back for Illinois. That's the first turnover they've had. 634 left in our third quarter. Greg Turner, the single running back, and he gets the ball, breaks one tackle, but gets absolutely nothing. Kevin Parsons. Shane Lamb fades to throw, has a man in and out of his hands. It's incomplete. That's an Boy, that's, NCAA, that's the longest NCAA. Tell you. Lamb knows he's going to have some company back in that pocket. He goes for all of it. And it's knocked away. Incomplete. A flag is thrown, however. An interference is going to be called. Oh, I will kick it away. Chad Little is in there once more. He's in they recruit so well. And none of the Nebraska players can invite Beautiful their girls talk. to the games anymore. Brinson fields it and is decked immediately. There was a flag on the play. 50-yard punt. Clayton Blakeman is the quarterback again. Terry Rogers in the backfield once more. From the 11, let's see how Nebraska plays it. The pitch comes to Rogers, and he vaults his way to the 14-yard line. Micah Heibold checks in at fullback for the Huskers. The give is to Rogers again. He doesn't get much across the 16 to the 17. Ray Nelson checks into the game for the first time tonight, or wing back for Nebraska. Out of that eye formation. Blakeman takes it himself, gets the first down across the 20 to the 23-yard line. And they may, might have a similar game brewing in late November in Lincoln this year. As they've both gotten off to a great start, illegal procedure against someone that looked like corner. Our SEC game next Saturday after. We're going up to Green Bay for the Packer Bear reunion Monday night. I think we'll have a lot more fun off the field than we will on. <laughs> Your basic broken play. Second and, well, let's call it 14. Blakeman, draw play. It's Terry Rogers crossing the 20 out to the 24 and another penalty flag. May have got caught for a clip off African Grant. That's we have having a big Packer Bear reunion that weekend, so we have a little golf tournament on Tuesday, the NFL tournament, so it's going to be a big weekend, Green Bay. Rogers breaks one tackle, breaks another, but is decked at the 15-yard line. Third and 17 situation. I don't guess the moon does nothing to you. That's pretty good. No, not really. But really? Okay. Uh-oh. There's a completion to Banderas. He breaks one tackle and bowls his way out to the 35-yard line. Well, after the timeout, they still don't know what to do. Now they do. It's Terry Rogers again. He gets to the 40 and to the 42-yard line. African Grant made the stop. Made an awful lot last year for Nebraska. Until Steve Taylor came to the four this year. Rogers with it again, 45, 50, out of bounds at the 48-yard line. Everybody getting to play in this one. Cawthorn keeps it, cuts it, gets to the 40, 35, 30, 25, 22. Sam Ellsworth made the saving tackle, but one minute left, third quarter. Clayton gives on a delay this time, and it's Jeff Wheeler who carries the ball. Banderas and Griffin in a wide receiver for Nebraska. They just keep the fresh troops coming. Catherine wants to throw. He's out of the pocket, and he throws incomplete at the 12-yard line intended for Rod Smith. Third and 10 at the 21. 
There's the throw, and he's got a man for a touchdown, Willie Griffin. Well, put it right on the money, too. 21-yard touchdown pass. And the score keeps going up. Look at this little number they got. They got a new number. They Griffin, first touchdown pass of the year was just wide open. Craig Schnitzler kicks that extra point. And the score mounts to Nebraska 52, Illinois 7, and Mike White is having a very long, long night. It has been a, it's not been a pretty sight here. Nebraska, though, has looked great. Stephen Williams carries at the 20, at the 25, and he's knocked down at the 28. Lynn McClellan goes in motion, now sets up in the I formation. Lamb gives it to McClellan. He crosses the 30. Second and seven for Illinois as we go to the fourth quarter. Keith Jones back in there at fullback. Pass is complete out to the 40, 41 yard line. Stephen Pierce. That's the way you are. Yeah. Ever since Russia, <laughs> the delay and nothing happening, and Keith Jones is buried. 52 7, I score. Second and 13 for the Atlanta. There's a completion to the 45. It's Stan Fit breaking a tackle. He gets to midfield before he's knocked out of bounds. Third and one at the 50. Know that. Greg Turner lost two. No way. No chance. One would guess that they would. Fourth down, three yards to go. Quick pop pass. It's caught by Pierce. He's buried. Depends on where they mark it. The night before on a baseball broadcast, Pete Van Weeren and I, around 10 o'clock, congratulated you. Versatile enough, probably, to play quarterback. Look at that, 426 to 110. It's been brutal. High formation, man in motion. And the quarterback keeps. He's in trouble, and he's thrown at the line of scrimmage. Sam Ellsworth is at it. Play Griffin and Tom Banderas, a couple of tight ends, check in for Nebraska on a second and 10 situation. The give is to the running back, Dana Brinson. Brinson gets outside to the 40, 35, 30, knocked out of bounds at about the 22-yard line. When they get seven points out of this drive, they'll have a shot at it. That was 63 nothing way back in the early 1900s. The give is to the fullback, a fumble by Tyrese Knox and an Illinois recovery, I believe. Yes. I got it. So Illinois stopped him that time. Shane Lamb hanging in there, the quarterback from Cardiff by the Sea, California. He gives to his running back, Ray Wilson, and Wilson bangs his way out to the 25. Maybe. And, of course, there's not much to get excited about here when your team's got 52 points. You just, you're actually hoping, I think, that they don't score anymore. I would. I would not score anymore. Lamb throws a strike to Pierce at the 30-yard line. He's decked there. But when you're uh, on your back almost every time you release a football, they were just completely classed in the front. Mankhausen comes in throwing, and he throws a strike for a first down to Stephen Pierce. Done a great job with that program. Mankhausen in the pocket. Goes long. Too long for everybody. Nothing wrong with his confidence. The knee just wasn't made to play football, especially on this turf, I think. I don't know. Nice going. To find out. It is against Illinois. A lot of people in this game. He's just got a much better football team. That's all there is to it. And again, new quarterback may have Absolutely. something to do with this. Happens a lot. Second and 20 for young Brian Minkhausen. Slips, gets up, throws a strike at the 35. Anthony Williams breaks away, breaks another tackle. He's got a clear field. He's at the 30 and run out of bounds at about the 22-yard line. What a run. Well, he's got these. John Custard make it down at the 23-yard line. Menkhausen rolls right. Slowly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And throws it out of bounds. Looks like he's got a good, strong arm. He just... Give me something underneath. Take it. He fakes, looks, and now he's got to run for his life. Menkhausen at the 30. Now he has a man. Complete 15, 10. Stephen Pierce. Make it at the 12-yard line. That's his eighth reception for 66 yards for Pierce. Gives him 20 on the year. Again, illegal procedure against Can't Illinois. Can't do that. First and 15. Here comes the blitz. He gets it away, and All he right. had a man, and it's incomplete. Did a good job recognizing the blitz, Skips. 
Second and 15 from the 17 for Illinois. Blitz again. Mankhausen read it, but Got killed. threw it away. Boy, he really did. Guy's what? been open over the middle. Wilson and Jones, the running backs. Mankhausen rolls, has time. Into the end zone. Touchdown. What a catch. Beautiful James pitch. Gordon, great catch. Mankhausen gets an Illinois touchdown and gives this huge crowd something at least to cheer about. Here's the try for point by the Illini, and it is up. And it is good. It was kicked by John Kelly. Check it by Chris Ciampeco. This is Super Football Saturday night on Turner Network Television. Youngins kicks it off. It's going to bounce around a little bit and may get out. No, it takes a bounce. Wheeler fields it at the 20 to the 25-yard line. Nebraska's used 12 different men to carry the football tonight. Wheeler gets the call and gets about three yards. It's Wheeler again, and he's across the 30 to the 33-yard line. Receiver positions. Possession play, third and two. Quarterback keeps, and he's thrown for a loss at the 30. First time tonight they got the option for a loss. Fine. Good snap. Croker gets it away. Almost blocked. Usher fields it at the 36, cuts inside to the 40, keeps his feet good run to about the 44-yard line. Seven and a half minutes remaining. Ray Wilson, the single bat, back behind Menkhausen. And the give is to Wilson on the draw, and that didn't fool Larry Petey. Story of the game. Again, Wilson, the single back. I bet they don't run the draw again. Nope, Menkhausen to throw, and he feels some pressure, and he's sacked way back at the 28-yard line by John Marco. There is no joy in Champaign tonight. Menkhausen has time, and airs it out. Way he air it out, too. He overthrew everybody. That ball landed at the 20. Little gets the kick away. Pretty good with it. Rod Smith at the 33, 35, 38 yard line. Smith to the right. Clayton, the quarterback, pitches it back, and Rogers gets to midfield. Rogers had a pretty good night. The I formation. McCathor and Clayton still quarterbacking the Huskers. He gives to Tyrese Knox, his fullback, and he booms his way down to the 35 yard line. At the 35, Rogers gets the call. He's tripped up and gets only a yard. Gamble to the right. Second down, nine yards to go. The give is to the fullback again, and Tyrese Knox. Knox and Rogers in the backfield, along with Ray Nelson. Again, the give is to the fullback. It's Knox banging his way to a first down at 4.09 remaining. This time, Clayton keeps it. He's hit, spun down. Clayton takes, keeps. Now pitches, beautifully done. It's Rodgers at the 10, at the 5, at the 2. I want to tell you, that was tremendous athletic play. Imagine. First and goal at the 3. This is with the third unit, folks. The give is to the fullback. And Tyrese Knox gets very little. They were underdog. They pulled the upset off at home. It looks like they want to sleep a little. They give to the running back again. Again, it's Knox. The give at the goal line. Did he get in? Yes. Touchdown, yes, Terry Rogers. A little icing on the cake. Rogers scores with a minute 52 left in the game. It's 58-14. The Illinois guy trying to make the tackle pushed him in the end zone. Craig Snettler kicks the extra point. It goes to 59-14. We'll be back. And it's a fine kick. It is Boysaw at the 15, at the 20, at the 30, and he's hemmed in and knocked down at 36. A minute 46 remaining. We all survived Russia. Some better than others. The pass is complete. Out at the 45-yard line, Stephen Pierce. you got to throw those short 8 or 9, 10-yard patterns till there's some opens up because it gets so much pressure. He's now 5 of 11 for 94 yards as he misses Pierce. It's taken a long time here. And he took too long. 
delay a game against Illinois. That third and six from the 40. Menkhausen in the pocket. is run out of the pocket and is sacked. Blitz. Way back at the 25. Little's kicked well tonight. He's averaged 42 yards. This one is a little shorter. And did he call for a fair catch? No. Rod Smith. Fumble. Loose ball. And I think Illinois has it. And they do with 34 seconds left. Chris Carpenter comes away with it. Brian Menkhausen leads him out. And as expected, he's going to throw. And he misread the pattern run by James Gordon. Ray Wilson, the single back behind Brian Menkhausen. He throws a look-in pattern. It's complete to Gordon at the 35-yard line. At the 35 with 12 seconds remaining. Menkhausen looks, has time. Now he's run out of the pocket. Now he's going to run. He gets to the 30, and he will get out of bounds at the 28-yard line with two seconds left. He'll throw this one into the end zone, or at least try to, I would think. They flood the right side. There's the throw. It's jump ball and incomplete. And your ball game is over. The Cornhuskers of Nebraska rolled impressively over Illinois. 59-14 the final.